The way I look at the NFC right now, there are three teams that have the possibility still of having home field throughout the playoffs. They're the Dallas Cowboys, the Minnesota Vikings, the Philadelphia Eagles. The question is this, what does it take for the Eagles to clinch home field advantage? King Ding back here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So, what is it going to take for the Eagles to win the division and win the conference, clinching home field advantage throughout the playoffs? So the Eagles get a bye week, and everybody has to come into Philly to be double moonwalk. Well, we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content, NFL content. You definitely don't want to miss it. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you know the deal. Just double check. Double boo walk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. And here's a reminder. Sunday, Eagles Giants. It is going to be one of the most epic streams Philly 500s ever have. We got Pizzle coming on, a giant bet. We're going to find out, is Pizzle getting Philly 500's channel for a week, or is Philly 500 getting Pizzle's belt and his soul? Find out, watch it live, come hang out with us. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, when we talk about the NFC Conference, I really look at it and I say there's three teams that I think still have a legitimate shot uh, to win the number one seed in the NFC. That's the Eagles, the Vikings, and the Cowboys. Fortunately for the Eagles, at this point, they beat Minnesota and they beat the Dallas Cowboys. That's very big, okay? But the Eagles are sitting at 10-1. I mean, I'm sorry, 11-1. Then you have the Vikings are at 10-2. So the Vikings are only a half game, like one and a half games back. Because even if they had the same record, because the Eagles beat the Vikings... Head-to-head, -head, that the Eagles would have uh, the tiebreaker. Unless it was a three-way tie, then it's not head-to-head -head anymore. But the Vikings are 10-2, the Eagles are 11-1. You have the Dallas Cowboys at 9-3. The next team is San Francisco at 8-4. I don't think that they're going to be able to catch the Eagles because the Eagles will really only need to win one more game to knock them out of that. Um, but the Cowboys, the Vikings, and the Eagles all have a chance. So I kind of wanted to look at each of these teams' schedule and, and kind of see where I think this is going to go, okay? So uh, let's start with the Vikings because they're not in a division. And um, they're, they're playing this week at Detroit. Now, Detroit's not the greatest team in the world, but I think they're a scrappy team. They play hard. I actually think that the Minnesota Vikings could lose this game. I think they could lose this game. Uh, I actually picked the Detroit Lions to win this game outright. So I, I, I think they get a loss here. I'm just guessing, you know. But if they don't, then, then they'll remain on, you know, at the Eagles' throats. But they have the Detroit Lions. I think that's a tough game. The following week, they got to play the Indianapolis Colts at home. I, that doesn't scare me at all. That doesn't scare me. At all for the Vikings. Vikings are going to trounce the Indianapolis Colts. No question about it. Then they have a matchup at home versus the New York Giants. Now this could be interesting because depending upon what happens to the Giants in the next few weeks, they're going to be fighting for a wild card. This may be a must-win situation for the New York Giants. And this may be one of the few times that as an Eagle fan, we're actually going to have to root for the New York Giants. Uh, because... This may clinch if, 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 let's say, Minnesota's only one game, one and a half games behind the Eagles when they play the Giants Week 16. This, this could possibly clinch the whole thing for the Eagles getting the number one seed. So we may have to root for the New York Giants. The following uh, week, they play the Green Bay Packers at Green Bay. Um, Green Bay's not that good. Maybe Green Bay plays better. Green Bay took a spanking uh, week one versus the Minnesota Vikings. So we'll see. And then they follow it up week 18. Uh, they have, they're at the Chicago Bears. I think, I think if they need it, they would win that game too. So to me, there's really, I look at the, the Vikings schedule and I think there are two games that I think could be losses. The Detroit Lions game and the New York Giants game. And then I'll say 50-50 with Green Bay. But Minnesota, they have a, a, a schedule that's fairly, 
that fairly helps them. I think it's not a bad schedule for them. Uh, they very well could run the table there. So um, they may they may be at our, our necks uh, up until the final week of the season. Uh, as far as the Dallas Cowboys go, uh, you know, they got to play the Houston Texans this week. That's a win. Then they got to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I believe that's in Jacksonville. Uh, that's, that's actually, that's actually maybe a little tougher, but they'll probably win that game. Okay. So that means they would be 10 and three. They'd be 11 and three going into Christmas Eve versus the Philadelphia Eagles. All right. So if they beat the Eagles, if they beat the Eagles and the Eagles don't lose up until then, the Eagles would still remain one game above the Dallas Cowboys, meaning the Eagles would have to lose one of their final two games in order for Dallas to possibly jump them. If the Eagles are to stumble, let's say they lose to the Giants or something like that, um, and then Dallas beats them, Dallas could actually take advantage in the division. Then Dallas has got to go to, to Tennessee. And they're going to play the Titans. Uh, that's a tough game. That's a really tough game for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and then they got to play the Washington no names, the commanders. Um, and, and we'll see about that. So it's going to be very interesting. But when I look at the Cowboys, and I look at their schedule. There's two, there's three games on it, actually, that all could be losses. I'm not saying that they will, except for the December 24th one. I think that is, but the, 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 the Eagles game is a tough game. The Tennessee Titans game is a really tough game because you got to travel on Thursday. And then that Washington game, you know, Washington is playing good. I don't think that's a give me for Dallas. So they got three tough games out of the remaining, um, what, the remaining five. Uh, but the next two games are easy. And, and that's going to give them the possibility to be in this thing. Okay, now, when we look at the Eagles, the Eagles got the New York Giants. They got, then they got to go, they got to go to New York this week. Then they got to go play in Chicago. Then they got to go play in Dallas. The Eagles have three straight road games. That's a tough spot. Three straight road games are tough, okay? Fortunately, the first one is, a, is, is, is in the Meadowlands. It's in New York uh, or, or New Jersey. Not that far. I think they'll be okay. Then they got to go to Chicago. Now, the Eagles should beat Chicago. Uh, I think the Eagles should beat the Giants, too. I, I have a feeling that when the Eagles and Dallas meet, Week 16, Christmas Eve in Dallas. I, I believe Dallas is going to be 11 and 3. Okay. And I believe the Eagles are going to be 13 and 1. That's what I think it's going to be. Now, if Dallas is 11 and 3 and the Eagles are 13 and 1 and they play and Dallas loses to the Eagles, the Eagles beat Dallas. That would make the Eagles 14 and 1. That will clinch the NFC East. Now, will it be enough to clinch home field? That depends on if Minnesota has has stumbled, okay? But the Eagles would win the division. And let's say, for argument's sake, Minnesota hasn't lost, doesn't lose, right? So the Eagles are 14 and 1. They beat Dallas. They gotta play uh the next two games. They gotta play New Orleans Saints at home and then the Giants at home. Now, if let's say the Eagles are 14 and 1 and Minnesota is 13 and 2, the Eagles go in week 17 and win that game. The Eagles would be 15 and 1. They beat the Saints for 15 and 1. Minnesota, let's say they win and uh they're 14 and 2, the Eagles would clinch home field throughout the playoffs. So the Eagles could clinch week 17 home field throughout the playoffs. If they were to win every game up as of right now, if they win every game from the Giant game to through the Dallas game to the New Orleans Saints game, the Eagles would clinch home field even if Minnesota doesn't lose and Dallas only loses to the Eagles. OK, they, these teams need the Eagles to stumble. And the reason why I say it is because even if the Eagles lost the last week. Uh, let's say to the Giants, they sit everybody and Minnesota was to win. They would have a, they would have the same record, but the Eagles win the tiebreaker because the Eagles already beat Minnesota. So if Minnesota doesn't stumble, if the Eagles don't stumble, the Eagles can clinch and wrap this whole thing up 
week 17. If they stu if Minnesota hopefully stumbles before that, you could possibly clinch home field week 16 against Dallas. You could win the division and home field, have two games in which they're going to have to find out how to keep these guys sharp. So that's a whole another that's a whole another thing for a whole another day. Um, but right now the Eagles are in a really strong position. This game versus the Giants is important. It's important because you you don't want to put yourself in a position where you have the same record as Minnesota and you're only a half game up with a tiebreaker. You wanna you wanna stay ahead of them. Hopefully Detroit takes them out and uh, that gives the Eagles a little bit of room. And in that Dallas game, I'm telling you, it's going to be for the division. It, at the very least, it's going to be for the NFC East. Uh, but but when you look at the teams that have a path to be the number one seed, it's only the Eagles, Minnesota, and Dallas. Dallas needs more help than the other two, and Minnesota needs the Eagles to stumble. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, big game versus the Giants, and uh, we're going to find out what's happening. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat, remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, well, what about the 49ers? 49ers have a chance as a number one seed. They have a chance as a number one seed. Yeah, I, I, I guess technically they do. But the chances that the Eagles only win one more game or lose out is slim to none. OK, so I expect the Eagles to get over 12 wins. Um, and that's what San Francisco would have to be. The San Francisco would have to get to 13 wins, be 13 and four. They would have to win out and the Eagles would pretty much have to lose out or only win one more game. That's very unlikely to happen with the Dallas being nine and three, one game better. Uh, Dallas gets the fortunate position to actually play the Eagles. So that's almost like a two game swing. That's why I don't think the 49ers, uh, have a legitimate shot for home field throughout the playoffs. Although they could get up and be a number two seed depending upon what happens to Minnesota. But, uh, this is a three, this is a three man race, three team race for the number one seed in the NFC. Eagles, Minnesota, and the, the, the Dallas cockroaches. It, that's what it comes down to. But at the end of the day, Dallas still stinks. Denzel Washington out.